वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू सो इट इज़ ए वेरी साइनिंग मॉर्निंग इन ए वेरी डीप रेनी सीजन कंटिन्यूसली वी केप्ट व्यूइंग द रेन्स ऑल अराउंड साउंड ऑफ थंडर विजन ऑफ लाइटनिंग्स एंड दैट साउंड टिप 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 लाइक दिस आई थिंक दिस इज द ब्राइट टाइम we can some see the shining sky all around here naturally we are going to have a discussion right on a spiritual topic but with a caption very emotional and the topic is i love you <coughs> naturally you will be anxious why i am going to discuss on this topic something not very much spiritual i love you because uh, mainly we are going to have a discussion right now on love maybe superior variety of love i guess steer abindo has uh, hinted out written including of course mother around 200 types of love i'll tell you again around maybe more 200 varieties of love in his brilliant creation mostly you can find here and there mostly you will find in his magnum opus savitri so we are here we are going to discuss on love the caption will be on i love you long back i can remember when i was continuing in my my technical graduation technical degree actually i had a very nice poem very short poem i love you couple of lines i want to recite before you because we are going to stress upon that particular caption i love you that is the topic of discussion for this glorious morning let me describe a um, couple of lines i want to cite before you i love you because i love you i love you because i love you I love you because it would be impossible for me not to love you. Just imagine how this uh, sequence goes. I love you. I love you because I love you. I love you because it would be impossible for me not to love you. Then, is there any expectation, selfishness, desire, or something? Give and take. No. I love you without any clarification without any conclusion without any expectation I don't have any expectation I don't have any desire I don't have any calculation I don't have any clarification but uh, I want to clarify I love you because I love you very interesting unconditional unpreferential so this type of love is uh, selfless love I love you because I love you I love you because it would be impossible for me not to love you I love you without any clarification without any conclusion without any expectation without any danger I love you because I love you so this is the thing I love you before going to this uh, discussion maybe of course this topics while we are discussing on hindi and english we are making very short discussion very short discussion maybe in odia we are going for uh, bigger discussion maybe it is touching more than uh, 2 hours or even more 1 hour 2 hour like this but in uh, hindi and english we are very much particular to go for a very concise a very limited period discussion i want to give one discussion uh, this was the during the mothers time uh, very hard touching discussion when uh, I, i want to give that example one day demonda uh, brought a letter to mother it was open it came by post something was written there mother i am going to going to to marry so give me your blessings send me your blessings then mother smilingly wrote with love and blessings that's what some day some time passed in between some days have gone then another term, uh, letter because your uh, letters keep coming now itself you can see there is a department actually you know department of post 
right now in near to very adjacent to this ashram post office and that is also having one separate pin code because all the element, all the letters this is coming under pondicherry 1 but our you know our post office this is bearing another code number pondicherry 2 so very adjacent to this uh, ashram post office another letter came regularly usually letters were coming to mother for uh, blessings for reply for clarification so many ways and it was open same day one by open there was a plate and it was written there i am going for the second marriage please bless me mother smiled and wrote with love and blessings blessings was sent similarly in between some days passed and uh, letter another letter came as usual i have, i have already quoted every day some letters are coming maybe some you can get some money order a letter some you know parcel so means so many ways because this is a post office and ashram is a huge huge so many departments are there like this and there was written something same demon bhai the letter almost lettering you know alphabet style of writing everything was same it was open and it was written i am going same person writing the same line only thing, thing is there one thing is changing first i am marrying wedding second i am marrying for the second time here it is written i am marrying for the third time please send me the blessings mother smiled and wrote uh, with love and wish blessings and the only spectator you know demon bhai when he was going to post that letter after handling this uh, in his hand that letter in his hand actually he kept it trembling mother what are you doing here same person writing blessings blessing writing for blessings purpose is same but the thing is that past second this is third what you are doing then mother clarifies i am a mother i have come here to love i don't have any option but to love i am i have come here exclusively to love because this world needs love my children they are in need of love so i i i have, I have given i have come here to give love to offer love to bestow on them love i don't have anything to do i don't have any option because i am a mother that's what i love you and the sneer in the course how much love love can you distribute because you seem to be artificially superficially outwardly you see you are a person you have got your limitation so how much love can you give but thing is that this is our narrower version of judging the mother as we feel ourselves or somebody else standing before me maybe no uh, hair or black maybe tall or short maybe fat or thin something like this but he was a human being so it has he has got some so many limitations and is you know he, their magnanimity their greatness is also limited very much limited so somebody can ask the question mother how much can you love how long can you love everything is short it is a temporal sphere we are living here and to how many people you have you can love then sri aurobindo clarifies this is the mother's greatness this is truly the mother sri aurobindo tries to identify this, this is your mother her greatness her magnanimity her vastness her greatness even through the longitudes and latitudes top to bottom breadth wise length wise you know who the mother really is how uh, sri aurobindo clarifies describes love in her was wider than the universe love in her was wider than the universe universe not the world than wider than the universe the whole world could take refuge in her single heart see this is a big set and this is the world is a subset so in the inside this universe world is coming as a very little subset very little element so entire love what mother possesses mother has this is a big vaster wider and uh, inside which the world is will be something like a very subset it can dwell there and uh, with respect to the universe world is small and with respect to this world we people our conditions our terms our expectations our greatness our magnanimity 
our ego our expectations everything just uh, below some tiniest elements just imagine where really we start that's what mother clear when clarifies the love in her was wider than the universe the whole world could take refuge in her single heart single heart when mother quotes this imagine mother how mother is where she is how the heart oppress oppress how big it will be how many it will be because single heart it has been written mother clarifies on her love mother clarifies and expects my love this is this see already you know uh, i have already quoted around 200 varieties of loves your and mother have, they have quoted in different versions different times different places throughout their uh, discussion description analysis here one love is coming the human love that is full of you know sir in the interestingly sir in the course this human love this is the best love it is a mixture mixture of four things sir in the course ignorance attachment passion and the desire just imagine it human love it is actually compressing someone putting from the largeness to a very tiny point tiny point that is what the point because because this is human love this is human love it actually shortens compresses puts you at a single point it is keeping you far 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 behind the human circle at large because human love is the perverse pervert reflection of the supreme divine love pervert sir i want to say they are itself everything was a light joy truth supremacy but here where you see everything is this sort everything is actually you know obscure everything is limited everything is confined ego centric flat with ignorance and inconscience that is the human love and the sri vidya directly quotes here human love usually a mixture of ignorance attachment passion and the desire four things ignorance you know second ignorance means what about the greatness about the divine love supreme divine love that is ignorance they don't know attachment staying attached to only the human tendencies selfishness so ways that attachment is there passion and desire nothing else this is human love this is human love and uh, further on sir in the goes forward human life love fails by its own ecstasy we think we clarify we take it for granted that we have got our the human we are human beings our sir the human love it is great we are having some charm and we are we boast of this human love because you know we have human love we are human beings it is great and there so many ways people specially people of india they boast that for under a single roof single roof and in the name of the love or family we keep uh, spending something around 50 or 60 or 70 years maybe there is a big result um, is there big quarrel is there big revolt is there still then we are staying happily we are staying and we are leading also on all ecstatic moments of our uh, um, uh, time and lifetime but still in the course your human love fails by its own ecstasy nothing um, our misery is that we are born wet none dares to you us but we are forced to here also fails by its own ecstasy but uh, on the or on another side divine love already i have told uh, human love is the pervert reflection distortion of this divine love divine love can squander itself utterly at never waste or diminish it knows my first mission it knows my vision it is there in work never squanders never falls never vanishes never diminishes never it is a waste but the human love everything you can find some deterioration some diminution like that you can feel then sir in the course how can we have the divine love how can we bear the pressure of the divine love because we are human being we are atta- having attachments desires passions sorrow that's what sir in the course one can love divine only by becoming divine in nature nothing else 
by becoming divine in nature because that will create the base so that this divine love can descend and shape everything on you. So you have to divine yourself. Then again, 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 mother course, sister in the course. In yoga, all love should be turned towards the divine. All love. Because all love means only two types of love I have told. You can see supreme love, divine love, supreme divine love and human love like this. Only two or three things, uh, three type varieties of love I have put in. But still in the course, already I have given more than maybe 200 love type varieties of love here and mother has, uh, they have explained. Here, mother course, here in the course, in yoga, if you are in the process of yoga, you must, you must, you must one, know one thing. All love must be turned towards the divine, nothing else. Somebody asks mother, mother, two people, they, are in, they were in love, having some attachment, attraction, or whatever you know, human love. They are going, they, they knew that the mother is very much vast. So they are explaining the, and expressing their love before the mother. And they are confident. If we express their mother, will allow us to do to go in this uh, direction of love. Then they go and uh, tell mother, mother, we are in love. We love each other. Then my mother uh, remains silent and uh, tells, very good. But try to widen your love. Don't be confined to this human love, attachment, desires, whatever is there. Within you too, try to widen yourself. Means you come out that of that very narrow, sticky bondage, and you have to go towards the wider heaven. You try to widen your love. That is what the mother told. So here also, same mother possessing everything, and of course, love is in in her was wider than the universe. Here, this is the right time. This is the right time to love the mother. And to love the mother is to do the mind, do stir up in those yoga, integral yoga. And simultaneously, if there is a love, reciprocation must be there. Reciprocation, if you tell my I love you, naturally, naturally that the answer will be from the divine, I love you also. So, let us quote it again where we really started. The beginning must be the terminating point. I love you because I love you. I love you because I love you because I know, you know, I love you because it would be impossible for me not to love you. Don't tell to any your your you know girlfriend, boyfriend or something, your wife or children, whatever is or your attachment friends. Tell to the divine. I love you because I love you. I love you because it would be it would be impossible for me not to love you. I love you without any clarification, without any question, without any doubt, without any expectation, without any attachment, without any desire desire. Because it is my duty. To love you. I love you because I love you. Bande Matram, we can meet in the next class. Thank you.